It is a privilege and something comforting that uh, we are here together. Particularly for me, that on this side of eternity, we still have the privilege to associate with you. It could have been otherwise. So we praise God. And uh, I look forward to a very, very happy time with you all. This meeting is holding at a critical time in our story as a country. As you all know, the major threat we have in the country is insecurity. And upon it depends everything, whether we make progress or we retrogress. As it turns out, many people are running around, gathering in houses, in the open, and some in the sacred places. And what are they designing? How they can outsmart other people to grab power. If they succeed and they are the right people, then we are blessed. If they succeed and they are not the right people, then the people are put in harm's way. Therefore, I urge this very, very important body of Christ to make sure that we go straight to the business of canceling our country. We should not dwell in generalization. We should be specific. We should be direct. We should be powerful in our words. There are many people outside who are looking for guidance. And the position we adopt is what will direct them. So I want to encourage you not only the primate and his wife, but our bishops and their wives. Don't forget that even though the church is not in competition, you can't avoid competition. Every day we are in competition with other churches, with other bodies, with other ministries. And the relevance of the Anglican Church is at stake in this meeting. So, it is your duty to ensure that we remain focused, that we remain relevant, that we remain powerful under God. If we do so, we command the respect of the Nigerian populace. And we retain our integrity as a church. Let me advise our brothers, the bishop, that in the present circumstance that we are in, the temptation is very high to try to imitate other powerful people or ministers around in order that we may be hailed by people. So some seek powers from very unorthodox sources, very unacceptable sources. In fact, to serve self, not God and not the people. You must resist this temptation. You must resist it if we will remain a church. Sometimes, you are put in the situation to say, is it people you want or godliness? What do you want? You have to declare what you want. First to yourself and then to the church under your leadership. I know that so far, our primate has tried to, add, to define himself and to define the Anglican Church. 
I urge you to do the same. That you define yourself. Define your church. And differentiate your church. By what you say. By what you do. And what your lead followership. Are led to believe and to do. So on behalf of my wife. And our family. We are grateful to all of you. And let me say again. It's a privilege to see you. Retirement is not bad. Uh, let me also say that I greet my fellow retired people. <laughs> <laughs> there are some of us who are retired. I saw, I saw them here. So that's a diocese of retired people. <laughs> so when you look at it, it may be lonely, but if you are busy with yourself, you know what you are doing, you have nothing to worry about. You will be able to keep pace with the time. I greet you again, our big people who are helping our church to grow as lay people. I pray God to bless you. And please let us not introduce any strife into our church. It has dragged us down in many ways in the past. Let us together move forward and glorify the name of the Lord. Men and women of God, welcome to Abuja. God bless you.